the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip unboxing first look after my intro. Mm -hmm. Welcome everyone, I'm Techzilla, I'm back with another video, thank you for joining me. I've literally just got this in, this is the brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, which costs a whopping £1,300. Now this is the Exynos version, I'm going to do a little unboxing, pause the video, then I'm going to set the phone up and come back to you guys and show you a little bit of the stuff within the menus etc, but I'm excited for this one. So you know my usual style. You know what happens when I get a Samsung flagship come in. Three, two, one. Woo! Woo! Styling and profiling. Ric Flair style. When I don't do that, some of you guys ask me why no woo? Well, there you got your woo. So, nice box. Slightly dented on the top there, which is irritating as hell because it got delivered. I couldn't pick it up from the store. But this is an outer sleeve with a Z on the front. There's literally nothing else on the box except that. Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Pull this off. Let's get rid of this part of the box. And there we've got the word flip written right there. Now, let's pull the top off. Now, this is nice. I know some of you are going to go, what the hell are you talking about? Trust me, some boxes, when you try and take the top, the lid off the top, they're just a pain in the backside. But this one, nice, 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 nice. Now, there is a hidden thing in the lid. So let's get that out. Put that over there. Little box. Sim ejection tool on the back. Let's show you all this paperwork first. So transferring content. What's this? Regional lock guide. Warranty card. Quick start guide. Okay, so you want to read that? Nah, I didn't think so. And also you get this plastic. sort of case, clip-on case. It's not, let's take this out. It's in two parts, but it's got like this double-sided tape here and in here and stuff like that, that kind of sticks it to the back, which I don't really like, if I'm honest. That's not my, ah, it's not my bag. I don't like that. It's just, for a phone costing 1300, I think, and by the way, I'm gonna do a video after this one, on the official leather case, this should have come with it straight away. So I'm gonna be doing a video for this straight after this video, and I'll leave a link at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Now let's have a look here. The revolutionary Galaxy Z Flip takes the mobile industry to the next level by placing a powerful and intuitive device in the palm of your hand. With its unparalleled innovation and design, Galaxy Z Flip changes the mobile experience for those like you who stand out from the crowd for the expressive and blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to go into it. I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a jack and ori, but I can't be bothered. Now, look at this. This is the this is the showstopper. This is the showstopper. Let's put that down there. Now, this is the same care instructions as the Galaxy Fold had. So do not press the screen or the front camera lens with a hard or sharp object, such as a pen or your fingernail. Doing so could result in scratching or puncturing them. When folding the device, do not place any objects such as cards, coins, or keys on the screen, which is kind of obvious. The device is not water or dust resistant. Do not expose to liquids or small particles. Do not attach adhesives such as films or stickers to the main screen. Your device contains magnets. Keep a safe distance between your device and objects that may be affected by magnets, such as credit cards and, in, I don't know what that says, medical, implantable medical devices. If you have an implantable medical device, consult your physician before use. So that's a little warning from Samsung. Now, obviously this is a 6.7 inch glass, ultra thin glass, UTC is what they call it, which, to me is a game changer in the folding game industry. 
You look at the Motorola Razr, this just killed it. And I'll go through why this just killed it in a little bit. So let's see what else comes in the box. Now you get this, the Galaxy Z Flip. Let's bring that a little bit closer. Galaxy Z Flip premium service. Uh, comes a specialized customer care service designed to deliver the best possible product experience, blah, blah, blah. 24 hours uh, Galaxy Z Concierge, which I like. Now that's class, you see, that's class. One year Samsung screen protection. Free apl fees apply. This offer is for one screen repair within 12 months of purchase with a cost of 99 pounds. Not bad. You know, it's new tech. So you wanna have peace of mind. I think that's well worthwhile. Me personally, I don't usually keep my devices for longer than a year. So, because you know me, I have to do this thing called YouTube. So you've got the, I think it's a 15 watt fast charger. Is it 15 watt? I'll tell you what, let me grab my spec sheet. Let's have a look here. 15, yeah, 15 watt fast charger. The wide charging, it's got wireless charging. It's a 3,300 milliamp hour battery. Uh, the weight is 183 grams. Just a little bit of info for you guys before we go any further. So that's the UK power brick. Now pull this out. This is that UTG adapter. So you plug a full size USB type A in there and the other ends a USB type C that goes into the bottom of your phone. You've got the USB type C charging cable and the usual AKG AKG branded there uh, earbuds these are really good braided cable etc but I'm not going to get into that too much now so let's chuck all this out of the way and let's get this thing open now I'm going to probably bugger this completely up look at that fingerprint magnet C so Let's peel this off. That's satisfying. Oh, nice. Oh, the sign came off with it. That's good, that's good. And stop putting the stickers directly on the phone, God damn it! Take this and put it on the sticky thing that's around the phone. Look at that, already getting fingerprinted up so look at that this is mirror black now you can you can get this in uh mirror purple which i think is a nice color but not my bag personally or you can get it in mirror gold which i believe but what i was told by samsung is not going to be available in the uk so let's have a quick look around here now the bottom bring a little bit close there we go you got the USB-C charging port, single bottom firing speaker. So it is a single speaker, no dual speaker on here. And a mic on this side. Now what I like here is you've got the volume rockers there. And this is a fingerprint reader and the power button. So if I switch this on, let's get it switched on. Look at that. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now you can see a bit of a crease in the screen. And you can feel it, and I'm being genuine here with you guys. Some of you are not gonna like that, let's be honest. Me, I don't care. I, I love this form factor. I think this is this is the, the foldable device I've been waiting for, this. Where it folds from a normal sized phone into a clamshell, rather than from a normal sized phone into a tablet. This is much more used to me personally. Uh, trust me, I ain't got no issue with anyone who feels the other way around, but for me, that is how it is. Quick note, this comes with two IMEI numbers on the box. One is for a physical SIM that you put in here, or if your carrier or network provider offers you eSIMs, you can use an eSIM without using a physical SIM card. Now, whether that means I can do dual SIM cards at the same time, two lines, I don't know, I'll let you know as I go on. And I don't even know if my carrier will give me an eSIM for this. Now those cameras, that cam, those cameras are 12 megapixel, both of them. One's a wide at 12 megapixels, 1.8, I think. And the other is 12 megapixel ultra wide at f2.2, I think. Um, you've got the flash here. 
and you've got a little screen there as well. Now that screen, this is where I have to look, I'm getting old guys, I'm getting old. I can't remember stuff like I used to. The, that little screen is a 1.1 inch Super AMOLED 112 by 300 pixel screen. It's a tiny screen, but I like it. And I have used this phone, not this one. This is, now this is not a review sample, okay? That's important for me to say, this is one I actually bought. Okay, I got this, it's my own personal phone. So it's a big difference. And I think a lot of people do not understand the concept of this phone. So let's do this, okay? Oh, satisfaction. Look at that little screen. Beautiful. Fingerprints and Gorilla Glass 6 all the way around. There's the famous Samsung hinge with Samsung in silver on it. Really nice. I like that. Right, guys, I've set up the phone, semi set up the phone because I want to get this video done quick. Um, but out of the box, there's a software update waiting. I thought I'd share it with you. I won't install it right now. I'll do it later. Um, it's basically, I like the way they've done this now. What's new? Find out what's included in this update. The performance of the camera has been improved, added new feature, single take, improved stability, live focus, live focus video, AR doodle, AR emoji, night mode. A software update can include, but it's not limited to device stability, blah, 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 blah. So I'm not going to do that now because obviously it will kind of, you just sit here watching the video of, of an update going through. Um, right, look at, look at this screen now. That is, it's not that reflective either. It is a bit, but it's not too bad. I mean, look, you can see my filming light reflecting in it, but look at that. It's when you look at it dead on, it's almost like it's sucking in light. It's like you, it, light cannot escape the screen. I don't, it's very hard to explain what I mean. I mean, as you can see, that's the apps it comes installed with. They open the camera. Now I haven't done the update, so I'm not gonna go through the camera too much because some of the, the update adds extra features to the camera. But, you know, I'll give you an idea. Let's get in there, allow. Let's zoom in, look at that color. Hard to pick up on the camera, but that's really, I know it's not the same as the S20 Pro. Look at that, it's going off already. It's not the same camera level overall as the S20 Ultra 5G, which I've pre-ordered, I'm waiting for that to come in. Um, that's gonna be another beast. I'm thinking my daily drivers, I know people don't like that phrase, but this will be one of them the s20 ultra 5g will be the other one so if i'm going out in the evening going to a bar something like that and i want a small device this will do All right that's a 10 megapixel f 2.4 um lens or camera should i say so if we go into there switch it around there yeah, it looks scruffy as hell go into wide I'm using my Lumix S1, that's a killer camera. Look, see, so you've got an idea. And obviously this screen, now let's talk about screen. It's 6.7 inch, full HD, dynamic AMOLED display, 2636 by 1080 pixels, 425 pixels per inch, HDR 10 plus. Uh, it's glass or as Samsung call it, UTG, ultra thin glass. So way more of an improvement over the Motorola Razr. It's 200 pounds cheaper than the Motorola Razr as well, in the, in the UK at least. Now, let me get out the things, obviously that I wish it had, but it doesn't, but I can live with it because it's new tech. There's no IP rating, okay? As you saw from the warnings when I opened the box up. It's no 5G no dual speakers, no expandable storage, and no headphone jack. Headphone jack, everyone has to get used to it. It's going away from everything. Uh, expandable storage, 256 gigs. Some of you will say you can't live with it. I can, I've got two phones. My S20 Ultra 5G will be my workhorse. This will be my flexing phone. You know what I mean by flexing? I don't mean because it folds. I mean, I'm gonna be flexing with this. 
the 5G, I think it's another year till 5G is at least another year to two years before 5G is really viable. I've tried 5G uh, in London, central London. It's not that useful for me at the moment, okay? Um, the dual speakers, I would have liked dual speakers, okay? The, I mean, at the top, you've got the earpiece right there in that bezel, okay? Maybe a software update can make that into a second speaker, but as it is only the bottom single speaker you've got down here. But really, oh, I can't explain to you how nice this feels. Now on the back, as I said, those cameras, 12 megapixel f1.8 wide camera, and you've got a 12 megapixel ultra wider f2.2. Okay, with flash, that small screen, I've already given you the specs on that. Let's close this up. Closing, I can do it no problem single-handedly. Let's bring this in a bit closer. Come on, focus, there we go, there we go. Now, fingerprint reader. If you slide across, that's really nice. I know people are gonna go, what, what? You can see that? So you can use the back cameras for a selfie. It's a bit small for framing, but it gives you a rough idea of how you're gonna frame it. So that's pretty nice. Now this fingerprint sensor, let's open this up. Okay, let me do this. That's instant, lock it. That's how fingerprint sensors should work. Look at the speed. See, I love that, things like that. That is, that is fast. I mean, look at this, ready? That's insane, insane speed. While we're here, actually, let's go into settings. Da, 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 da. Where is it, where is it? See that, I can feel the crease right in the center. I can feel it. Let's go to that's the phone going crazy. Let me set up my face, unlock, continue. Do you wear glasses? Yes, continue. All right, now I'm gonna do this on camera so you guys can see. All right, Regime, take off your glasses, continue. Face registered, okay? So when you unlock with face recognition, stay on the lock screen until you swipe. Turn this off to go directly to the last screen you are using. Stay on lock screen. I don't like staying on lock screen, so I'm gonna switch that off, okay? And done. Uh, face unlock, stay on lock screen, faster recognition, require open eyes, brighter screen, Samsung Pass, add alternative look. I don't know what that means. Probably how I, I don't know, I'll go into that later. So we lock this. Now let's try face unlock, okay? Oh, what's behind the thing? There we go. Right, let's turn it to the side. Okay, let's switch it on. I'm not looking at it, look, bang. So again, let's turn it there. I'm not looking at it. Face me, bang. The face unlock is excellent. Fingerprint reader is excellent. Man, this is a good little, I love this thing. I love this thing. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do over the next two weeks, a video every day, whether it's a short or long one about this phone. At the end of the two weeks, I'm going to give you a long term review because I think two weeks is good enough. Um, I might even do a one month review after that. So this is the unboxing. Okay. I'm going to do one, like tomorrow I'll do a video letting you know how I'm getting all the battery. Now the battery is 3,300 milliamp hours, uh, which is not huge. But I can understand it in a foldable, foldable design like this. You know, you're going to have issues. If you put, try and put a bigger battery in it, it's going to be a lot thicker, this. Look at that. Way for thin, this. Now, the phone is 183 grams. It's a Gorilla Glass 6. Top and, well, all over, basically. Obviously, the front glass, I think, is the ultra thin. I don't know if that what that's made of. It's not Gorilla Glass. Uh, I've already discussed the cameras, the color options. Um, now it's eight gigs of RAM built in, 256 gigs of storage. 
Now this one is the Exynos chipset, the same as the Note 10 Plus. Now at the time of making this video, that is the top of the range chipset because of, technically the S series haven't dropped with the newer Exynos or the newer Snapdragon. So technically you're not outdated yet. Okay, I know it would be nice to have the 865 or the latest Exynos, but you know, don't lose too much sleep. There's a lot of YouTubers out here who are going, oh, for the money, the specs, blah, blah. Don't listen to it. And I'll tell you what, in the UK, this thing sold out within hours of being launched on Samsung's website. If you go on there now and you want to purchase this, it's not shipping till the 29th. I, I actually, I've been looking forward to this. This is one of the phones I've been really looking forward to. And you know me, I'm a spec guy. I love specs. And by that, I don't mean glasses. Love this thing. Now, another thing about this, the hinge, okay? Have been able to do stuff like that. I'll do a video about the apps that are compatible, but there's quite a few, like YouTube, etc. I'm not gonna bring that up now. So you can have YouTube video running on the top screen. The bottom screen, you can have the comments. So I love the fact you can just literally plant it like that, like a mini laptop. Love that fact, love that. And you can text like that. See, in the top, you can have the text bubbles. In the bottom half, you can have the keyboard. Samsung has worked with Google and app developers to get apps where, and it's in this mode, bang. It's beautiful. I love the way it's done. I love the way it's done. Now, obviously, it's got wireless charging built into it. I'm not going to bother showing you that. You know what wireless charging looks like. So you can wisely charge it like this with it closed, or you can have it open and put it like that on the this half of the phone and it will wirelessly charge. You've also got um, always on display. So let me unlock it again. Look at the screen. There we go. Uh, so it's got, a, it's got always on display. It's got lift to weight. I mean, I've got to go through it. Okay, as I said, this is just an unboxing, first impressions. So far, this is, I would say this is the best foldable device out right now. It thrashes Motorola's Razer. I mean, it annihilates it. It absolutely annihilates it, destroys it. Um, the fold, because of the screen issues, I think it kind of hampered what happened. Um, so I think this is the best foldable phone out right now. Top top line specs. There are a few things that are like seen added, but it is what it is. Now people are going to go, well, how big is it compared to these other Samsung devices? So you've got the Note 10 here. Let's put that together so you've got an idea. I'll put it down like this. So it's a little bit... It's back in the round. It's a tiny bit taller than the Note 10 Plus, okay? But slightly thinner. I think it's got a 21.9 by nine aspect ratio, something like that. Don't quote me on that, but it's, it's a little bit of an odd one. So you can see that there. And if I bring in the S10 5G, this thing's a behemoth. Absolute behemoth of a phone like this put them together and again it's a little bit taller but it's not it's probably about four millimeters or so less less in width or five mil less in width roughly like that so it's a very I think I think Samsung did a really good clever move here by making it a little bit thinner because it's it's meant to be held one-handed this phone it's very, very well thought out, the ergonomics, where the power button is with the fingerprint sensor. So if you're right-handed like me, you know, it's just natural. It's right there. You see that? It's right there, look. Look at the speed of that. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Volume rockers. Now there is this, I'll try and bring that to focus a little bit. Come on, come on, catch it, there we go. You see this bezel that runs around the edge of the screen. So when you do close it, or you put it face down on a table, it will touch that bezel part rather than the screen touching the screen. There is a slight, 
you just see a table through here. You can see my finger moving? Slight gap in there. I would just, if you're gonna carry this, keep it in a pocket that doesn't have keys or anything like that and they keep it separate from everything else. I do that anyway with my other devices. And I'm gonna do a video on the official leather cover for this and let you guys see that in action and what you think of it. So, so far, so good. I've not only had it out of the box, the folding mechanism is very sturdy. You can literally open it to, it springs open at about here. Yeah, it's about there. It can open as much as that. A little bit more. Still open. Still open. Still open. Oh. Whoa. And bang. It springs. Really, I'm looking forward to this one. I'm looking forward to this one. So anyway, guys, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and bell notification icon because I wanna have loads more videos. Get your questions ready. So when I do the camera video, when I do the battery life videos, when I do the charging speed videos, et cetera, et cetera, and the case videos and stuff like that, you guys are gonna to wanna to know the answers to certain questions. So get ready to ask me. Until next time, this is Tegzilla saying thank you for watching, take care and peace.